Well, we finally came to the time now where we're going to turn wheels. I've been talking about it for a few years and now we're going to show you how I turn wheels on a normal engine lathe uh, with carbide tools, manually done, no CNC, and I can turn them out pretty quickly and uh, we'll, we're going to show each step. The first phase, the first step is to do the back side of the wheel. Now I'm going to do four pair of trucks which is eight wheels per truck so that's 32 plus another eight additional wheels for an extra set and then a couple of extras just a half so about 40 42 wheels and uh, I don't know how long it's going to take me I'm going to time it and see how long it takes but uh, we're going to talk primarily how I set up now this is the wheel in the, in the chuck three jaw chuck three jaw chuck a heavy eight inch three jaw chuck it has removable jaws replaceable jaws so the jaws are reversible for the inside out the hard jaws and then I have soft jaws now the soft jaws are machinable jaws and we'll show you those a little bit later when we do the turning but uh, I have them set up to hold about half of the tread of the wheel on the, for the first side and then I have another notch in them that I turn you can turn these around they're keyed into the chuck you can turn these around for the other side they're numbered one two three okay now um, I hold the wheel about halfway on the tread so I'm going to machine the outside of the flange and the back face the back and I'm going to face off the center the hub All right, now we'll talk about the carbide what I use is a carbide insert tool it's a negative rake tool now I'm going to show you here up close let that thing come up and then here's the side view of course the top view and I'll show you a little piece of carbide here's the carbide All right. and the nice part about this carbide is it's if you see it's set I'll show you one more time here it's set negatively it's down down and the reason that is is on this tool on this bit this insert you could use four corners you could use one two three four so you can use one one two three four okay and you get more out of the carbide this is um, about this is cheap stuff I bought the cheap stuff you don't need to buy the good stuff this is imported from China somewhere I paid 350 a piece for these so for free three dollars and fifty cents I get four sides ten 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 pieces or easily easily do these wheels I've got um, uh, ten forty different sides forty different tips ten pieces four different tips have you noticed that it has a hole in the middle which holds it as well as the clamp that holds that thing pretty solid because a lot of pressure on that now the one disadvantage of that type of tool is uh, it takes a little more pressure to push it but we're cutting car, uh, cast iron which is a little bit softer than steel so you don't need as much pressure um, one thing I should mention right off the bat here I have a heavy duty lathe I have a 15 inch gearhead driven lathe is uh, heavy, heavy uh, iron castings, iron base, strong, heavy duty lathe. You're not going to do this on some 6 inch, 8 inch, 10 inch south bend. Forget it. Forget it. It ain't going to happen. It just ain't going to happen. So, unless you have a heavy duty lathe, uh, it could be belt driven, but uh, it's got to be heavy, heavy duty that can take the cut. Okay. So, now that's the tool bit here, and I use a CNMG 432. And you could get this. I bought I bought these from a company. And I should give them a plug. Shar Tool. S H A R. I think it's E. I'll get I'll get I'll have the on the on the um, chassis. I'll put the thing. Tool. And uh, the whole the, t the 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 insert tool. Now it's not a a Kenna metal. Kenna metal is the brand name, like uh, rigid or something. Kenna metal tool is about seventy five dollars. This one was twenty seven dollars. It works every bit as good, and believe me, I had to machine the bottom of this to get it in my tolder because it's three-quarter shank. I machined it down to one-eighth one eighth off it, and it was pretty tough. I had to use a carbide end mill to get through that. So it's pretty tough stuff. And um, uh, the, t the tips I bought from them, the Kenna Metal inserts, are about $13 a piece. These are $350. Works just as good. Why spend the money? I don't like to give it to a foreign country, but what the heck, you know? 
So what I'm saying about the carbide is this is the way it looks normally, but then it's in the tool like this. So now you have the clearance underneath here. And of course on the same on the side too, you have the same thing. So now the beauty part about this is you could turn it and face it without changing the tool. Um, we're about ready to um, go over on the lathe now, and I'm going to set up the camera, and hopefully we'll be able to see everything the way I want to see it. I might not be able to talk, see my face, but I'd rather have you see the wheel than me. So uh, we'll set it up the best I can. I'll try to narrate how I... So we're going to go over on the lathe now and uh, show you that first operation, the back part of the wheel.